Woo! All right, we are live, boys and girls. Let's uh, let's get the stream up on my phone. A little chat action here, so that I can um, practice a little bit of foosball with you guys. Hang out. I'll let a couple people get in. We're gonna kick it and get rowdy. I don't know. Just talking now. Could be fun though. Um, let's see here. How are we gonna do this? All right. Now, let's get on the table, kids. Let's see what's up. I have to change the foos. Change the foos cam. Ladies and gentlemen, the foos cam coming at you from Illinois. Wish I had music to play, but you can't do that on YouTube without getting a strike. Oh yeah, that's something I wanted to check as well. If anybody's already in here, please let me know so to, I can check the microphone volume. That's kind of a big deal. Oh, this actually has audio to it. That's fun. Don't need that. I also don't need that. Alright. guys today I'm gonna do a little bit of five bar practice. I think I'm changing my five bar around a little bit. I, um, I'm actually gonna get real boring with it. And just stick to a dead still stick series, kind of like Billy does. Or Dan, I should say. At least it makes sense to me. It gives me something to read. Welcome everybody, hope you're having a good day, hope everybody's staying safe, social distancing and all. Fuck, man, that was nasty. Let's try something. Oh man, that cuts up way hard. What's up and how am I? I'm doing good today, man. I'm, uh, I'm doing well. That was cool. It's harder than it looks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You doing well, bro? You, uh, doing your social distancing part?
All right. What what just happened? Uh, what just happened? Can I switch to the Brandon flyer while I try and figure this out? How do I reset this? Um, hmm. Alright, so I'm going to have to start and stop again, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that. Ooh, that was weird. Ooh, that was weird. <clears throat> All right, back back in the swing of things here. Man, it's gonna be neat if I can do it consistently. All right, guys. So, welcome back. Um, just kind of practicing around. So, and I'm really kind of trying to work on this really stupid flip over shot because I think it'll be fun. Ooh, that didn't go well. So, what I'm trying to do, guys, is this. Ooh. So, it's basically my lane into a flip over push kick, but I won't be able to do it fast. So, it has to be like. If you guys have questions while I'm putzing around doing stupid stuff on a foosball table, let me know. Um, there. That's about right. It can't be too fast, because if it's too fast, then it's not going to work. But at about that pace, it's going to be kind of neat. Yeah. Hello. Isn't that a nice shot? I think it's kind of fun. Ah. So, something to kind of work on. It's very, the timing's weird. Because, like, all the pieces have to be right for it to be perfect. Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's the best out of my actual series, so. Sit, be still for a while. Yeah, okay. That's how it gets done. So we have to hit it here, though. Hmm. Dropping my lane pass. Yeah, slow it down a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Spool pull sprays. Um, okay, I can do that. Uh, I'm going to do it off of working on my, apparently on the lane pass I'm dropping, but I will happily show you some sprays. I don't really shoot a spray, it's not my stroke, but um, if you want my pull shot in general, that's totally fine. trying to spray the ball, and because of that, it's going to screw up my shot. Can't do that. Flip over pin from a constant rock? I can do that too. Give me a second. You can actually um, do some kind of neat stuff over a flip over pin out of a constant rock. See, I don't really spray. If you're gonna spray, just kind of leave the guy there, opposed to cut back, I guess. But that's not my natural. Oh, that's a screwed up ball. I keep three balls in here. 
this specific one's like really chewed up. So, gotta put that one down there. Oh, thank you. I've actually changed my stroke dramatically in the last year. I really want to uh, keep myself more square to the table, kind of like Brandon, Terry, uh, T Mac and Gummison are all doing. Um, I definitely think the lateral speed's faster. I don't know that the hitting of the ball is faster, but I like um, I like the consistency of it as well. That's a spray, like that tuck, that spray in between. Like if somebody's baiting you like way too hard for that, like dead bar, you can spray that thing in there. That works too. favorite. I mean, I guess I can spray the ball from here. I just don't, I don't think the timing's right for me. It's it likes to go deep. Just personal opinion. All right, so flip over, straight, constant rock. You see how you kind of have to like stop in the rock? Otherwise it kind of like hits a guy. Giving myself, I'm not giving myself that big it's actually a really small middle. It looks bigger than it is because this guy's like right off the hole. But see, like, that's too fast though. Yeah, see, so you kind of have to like hesitate it. It's kind of the same way with rollover. Like, if you see somebody really rocking in a rollover, they kind of stop to the middle. It's kind of the same thing. to do that out of a rock. I don't know. I don't like shooting a pin though. It's kind of difficult. I hit that post a lot. Yeah, I just don't like it to the level. Swing looks horrible. Yeah, that was so bad. It's gotta be tight. You gotta stay close to the ball. That's the only way that shot works. No, you can race that. It's it, you can race that flip over. It's not as fast. Not near as fast as the snake one. That's the problem. You have to kind of do that like hesitation flip over, which is super readable. That's so raceable. I totally disagree. I totally disagree. I recently realized I no longer have like a snake shot, or not a snake shot, a, uh, a slingshot from up front. That's kind of weird. Like, I always hit the wall right here. Let me just show you. I hit this wall, like, every time. It's so strange. See? Every time. Every time. I lied. Oh, that's an interesting concept. Really? So... I knock the ball over to, for my to start my rollover. Yeah, that's gonna be somebody's not gonna like that. If I'm setting up a rollover, I'm doing it that way. Oh man. Oh boy. Can I make an updated? Wait, what? Hang on, there's another question first. Yes, this is no. Uh, can I make an updated pull shot tutorial? There's really no reason to make an updated pull shot tutorial because that tutorial is still relevant. Um, the only thing I would maybe change is stance a little bit. 
Um, I still think that this stance is probably superior for learning how to shoot it. I think this stance that I'm in right now Yeah, okay, that's neat. Alright guys, I will be right back. I'm going to fix this problem. Alright, there we go. I don't know what the problem was, but okay. Oh, i got to switch the channel though. Hopefully that'll stick together, guys. I am sorry about that. Heard it happen too. Heard it happen. So, again, sorry. But we're just gonna putz around now. Yeah, uh, if you're still there, who would turn him in? Uh, Evil Sam. Uh, there's really no reason to update it. Not much, anyway. Like I said, just maybe the stance. Um, I get, I think everybody needs to have some form of a pull shot. I don't think not having the ability to do so is a good one. Although, <laughs> Tony Spreeman can't really shoot a pull shot. So, I guess that makes my argument invalid. So, that's a thing. Ugh. That's definitely a thing. flying quickly. Man, that feels so weird. Jeez, that is so funny. This table feels completely different over here right now. Very in depth. Just thought you changed the way you shoot your pull now. Uh, not really. Not really. Um, like I said, I've changed the stance a tiny bit. Um, it helps with longevity of my wrist. Uh, it's funny, Brandon Moreland talked about it just the other day. Uh, that he did basically the exact same thing for very similar reasons. Um, and I think there's we can get away with it because the ball's different now. I think back in the day we couldn't really do it because of the ball. I think we stub more. Which makes an interesting dynamic of the table. But... guys I'm just kind of putzing around killing time
Just wanted to enjoy an evening. Practicing a little foosball. Whoop. Nothing in this world works as well as repetition if you kind of have an idea of how to do it when it comes to a pull shot, just for the record. But you want to kind of figure out a really comfortable way to hit the ball hard. It's that simple. hanging out, coronavirus and all, got rid of my mustache, it was bothering me. So guys, uh, feel free to ask questions, you want to see something, you want to learn something new. I'm kind of just freewheeling out here and putts around, trying to kind of just do silly stuff on a foosball table at the moment, for the most part. It's like way too big. That one in. Five bar. It goes in, but 
Apparently I can't shoot it anymore. All right, I'm going back to practicing that goofy shot. I really like it. for a little bit longer so if you have any questions make sure you hit me up I play a little too aggressive and I need to hunt down aggressive on the foosball table lately. It gets me in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. That's coming in the near future. Video just got finished recently. Hmm. Take a two second break, have a drink, talk to you guys. Oh, what's going on everybody? How are things? Oh my gosh, look at all these questions that I did not see. Okay, hang on. Do I play two to five? No, I do not. Um, can I talk a little bit more about stance, yeah? Yeah, I can do that for you in just a second. Is the pull the most difficult? Uh, it does take the most time, I think. I think it definitely takes the most time. Um, it's weird, I didn't see any of those things pop up. <clears throat> okay, so I guess I need to be back on the triple. Do I know the trick shot where you have it pinned in the front, 
wait, you have it in a front pin. The throw is to the side. Then catch it back in the snake shot position and immediately shoot the ball in another direction. Oh, the thing that uh, Ryan Moore does? No, I don't do that at all. But <clears throat> let's get back on the table then. I was getting sweaty. I needed a drink. Such is life. I drink out of ball jars. That's what we do. <clears throat> Alright, let's get back on the table then. <clears throat> now that I can see the questions. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, so stance. Um, I don't know how much you guys can see on the video camera, but uh, recently I've been just, I'm almost dead center of the table with like my belt buckle loop to dead center of the table. Not of anything else, like of the table, maybe even this hole, because the hole's offset a little bit. So right around there, uh, I am pointed straight ahead. Both feet are straight ahead. Uh, I'm very square to the table. I kind of turn my shoulders just a touch, but very, very little. Um, and that's how I shoot my pull shot now. I mean, very straightforward. You know, there's, there's nothing else to it. It's slide it over, slide it up, and hit it home. Um, yeah, I definitely think any tips for two ball pull long. Yeah, give me one second and I'll show you a few. Um, do I practice dead bar pulls? No. Um, I don't practice dead bar pulls anymore. Uh, I used to. Let's, I don't know that I can even do one. Okay. So apparently I can. Um, and that's double dead bar long right there. It says both guys stacked straight. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe I did that first try. But, um... I don't practice that anymore. I wouldn't say I never do it. I just did it, right? Like, but it's not what I aim for. Um, you know, the the straight in the middle are too easy to kind of like let go. So I basically abuse those to the point where the long is like this, and then all I have to do is beat them there, which isn't that hard to do for for me because I'm kind of quick. So I mean, that's that's really the game plan in a nutshell. So. Okay, uh, let's see what we got. Practice pulls, okay. Uh, tips for two bar. Okay, so if you're really working on your long, right? Set it up, you gotta set it up. I, it's annoying, but do it. <clears throat> Bring the guy over. Don't be on the wall, I don't like that. Be just a touch off the wall. Have the ball back to where you want it. And work on just hitting the ball. Like, that's it. It's that simple. Then you just kind of move the ball over a little bit and work on doing it from there. And shoot, I don't know, a, a ton of them. You know what I mean? Just shoot so many that you're used to doing it. Yeah, stand proper. Then, you know, after you do that, bring it to the line maybe and start doing it from there until you get consistent at doing that. Okay? Now, take it all the way to the wall. Start practicing that. I mean, you can... That shot isn't mandatory, guys. You don't need it. Like, I love it because I'm quick, but you don't need it. Like, if you stick to, like, just a normal series, and that normal series it should be real basic. Backdoor slider, which is... Anything behind there, okay, it goes in, because apparently I'm terrible and rushing everything, but set it up, oh goodness gracious, and hit that shot, apparently I can't, oh, it's a bad ball, get out of your bad ball, then, uh, now for them to cover that, they have to do one of two things, they have to either basically put this guy on the wall, or they have to block it with this guy, now they're leaving you, like, a huge wall pass to your forward, uh, or if you're playing singles, right? So you're playing singles, gives you that. So like you've got now just that alone, okay? It, you're you're basically looking at this guy the whole time. If he's on the wall, like if this is on the wall, you know, it, you've got a different game plan. But if he's all right, so let's let's back up a little bit. If this guy goes to the wall, this I mean 
and this guy comes all the way out here, basic lane, right? You can do that all day. But he, realistically, he's going to be about there. Well, now that opens up this lane, right? Right through here. So now take a look. Are they stacked there? Probably. I mean, most players can't go super duper deep, but what else does that do? Well, if your forward puts his guys down, or if you know they're moving around a lot, like this forward, you can you can start playing games with the with this um, the lane pass here. So now you know, even if he's playing in this area with it, it still leaves this hole open. And if your forward's any good, you hit those guys. It's a clear, and most of the time it'll hit off that guy, land right on your forward's three rod, and it gives you another free possession. It's like a pass. All right, say that doesn't work, okay? I don't know why it wouldn't, but let's say it doesn't. <clears throat> They're still leaving this open. It's now a pass to that guy, right? Like, a, just a straight pass through there onto that guy's foot. You can even cut it back if you want. Huh? I can't. Huh? Oh, goodness. Holy, I'm pretty garbage. All right, where you hit that guy? I don't have anything to hold in place, guys, sorry. And then, I mean, we haven't even gotten past here yet. Like, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, we haven't even gotten past right here. You've only had to pull the ball, what is that, three or four inches. That's it. And I'm just giving you, like, four shots. You don't need to go long, is what I'm saying. It's nice to, but, and if you want to, that's how you practice it. You just do it. A lot. Like, a lot. Front pin, how you use your hand. I just put out a video on front pin. Literally, just put it out. I'm sorry, I don't speak whatever language that is. Uh, now, something I wish I could still do is the triple dead pull kick. But let's just try it out. No, you asked me. I don't know what you're talking about. I literally just released a video on, full, on how to do that. This ball's just too slick. Yeah. I just don't think we've done on these tables. It's kind of tricky. Do I have a T3000? Yes. Watch that video? Yeah, it's not doable. You don't understand how I spin? Oh, the flip over? You're talking about the flip over. That thing? It, all you're doing. I, okay. So, if you've ever watched Todd do his flip over straight, he catches it with like his knuckles. Like, Literally, so like, if this is the rod, right? If you do like this with your hand where your thumb's pointed up a little bit, you literally just go up and in, like to your fingers, like that. So you're like stopping it dead with this part of your hand, but your thumb is still extended, so it's like that. Does that make sense? See what I'm saying? Shaheer? Mm-hmm. Shaheer? But like Todd Lafredo does this straight. And it's totally legal. And it gets a lot of people to jump, right? And who also does that? Uh, Emilio Gilmore is really good at it. Um, I find it really difficult. There goes my ball. Probably do it more often, huh? It's never seemed to score it. <laughs> I also do it in this push kick variant. So what I do is like a lane to push kick. You know how like Tony does his pull kick? Like it's into a push kick. I really want to get good at it, and I don't have the consistency yet. Ah, bummer. Man. What? Are you 
are you talking about, dude? But the front one, please. Just show the simple one. You do with my hand in the air? What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean, dude. Like, just a simple front pin? All it is is open-handed. That's all it is. You just go very low behind it and snap it into your fingers. That's it. Rollovers are way easier than push kicks. Of course they are. Rollovers like the... A rollover straight is the easiest thing in the world. Anyone can do that. Like, anyone. I've been switching to a rollover recently, and I kind of like it. Uh, the roller, I, I don't know if the rollover is easier, but I mean, to be really, I think a lot of people complain about the rollover because they don't really understand it. What okay. happened? Like, if you look, these are all trashed. It's just how they are. Um, there's really no getting around it. Not at all. My pulse felt really good lately, which is kind of a good feeling because I felt like I was losing it for a while. And shooting a rollover kind of helped that, I think, because ugh, I don't shoot my pull shot as much, so I can shoot it better for longer. bike tire tube and roll it over your handle. Uh, I know a lot of people that do that. I can't stand it. Cannot stand it. It's not squishy enough. I need something a little bit squishier. Um, given this is probably the worst example of that of all time because of how bad the wrap is. But, um, that's what I would say. you don't have wraps. Uh, 
Well, dude, every every country, everywhere everyone is has tennis. Just get tennis wraps. They're the same thing. Literally the same thing. People just like fan boy over you know certain rap names and stuff. I I do personally like the the versity that are in uh, the Tony ones, the TS wraps. Plus I'm good friends with Tony, so that kind of helps out. Um, but other than that. Yeah, use tennis wraps, man. It's that easy. Uh, can I do a snake without wrap? Yes, I can. I choose not to. It hurts. <clears throat> Get tennis wraps, bro. Tennis wraps. Considering a Roberto Sport, don't do it. They're cheap. Cheaply made. Like, real bad. <laughs> what are your options? Because that's not it. <laughs> what are your real options? to play it like unless you know somebody local that you're gonna play you know Roberto sport with um I would, I would definitely say that or uh what's the other one tech ball tech ball p for p no i think it's tech ball what's its new name you're in Sir Little Fluce Cub, that's awesome. Yeah, Bonzini's super expensive. Carlando's a little bit cheaper, not by much. But if you already have a, you know, a tornado, a frickin', you have all that stuff. Yeah, Warriors are garbage. Like, hot garbage. Like, the people at Warrior think their table's like god tier, and it's terrible. In comparison to like all these other ones, it's just garbage. It's fun to play, and I have probably more titles on Warrior than any other table. Um, but other than that, and that's the old Warrior, not the new Warrior that they have. I don't know. Personal opinion. I don't, you know, I don't hate the people of Warrior uh, or anything. And they, like I said, they think their table's amazing. You can do cool stuff on a Warrior, but if you want, you know, something that plays well. Something else. I don't care. I like Tom. I'm just being honest. I like all the guys over at Warrior. I like Brandon Flaherty. I like Tony. I like Tom. I like all those guys. Okay? I want to make that perfectly clear. But I'm never going to jeopardize my opinion of something because of people. That's never happening. What would you, uh, no, because a Rene Pierre is just an old Bonzini table. Like, that's all that that is. Hmm. No longer have a bank. 
thing shut. Check. Oh. <laughs> I played a lot, dude. I mean, I've been around a lot of foosballers. And I don't BS. Like, what's funny is I've known the owner of Rodlock for a really long time. I, I didn't know I knew him. But I've known the owner of Rodlock for a really long time. I just didn't know it. Um, and then I found out he was the owner of Rodlock after I made the video. He was like, dude, thank you so much for the video. I'm like, I didn't know it was you. So. <clears throat> really cool guy, just saying. The Ohio legend. I was a legend in Ohio for about a minute. You bought two tables from the Rago guy. Yeah, there you go. Spirit. Spirit Malice. Spirit Malice is, uh, he's a cool dude. For the record, he is not the guy that is the owner and inventor of Rodlog. He does take credit for it sometimes. <sighs> Leonhardt, yeah, that's a cool one. I have not played on Leonhardt enough. I know that they play kind of like the old TS tables did, but better quality. Um, and I am interested. To, uh, to mess with it, so. I will soon. I like Charles. Charles is who I bought my first, like, new coin up from. Uh, so that was cool. Yeah, I've heard good things about Lionheart. Um, or Leonhardt. Leonhardt. Uh, but I just haven't gotten to play on it yet. Like, I've played on a lot of other stuff. Ooh, that's a small metal. stance. The foot is curved, that's weird. Ooh, that's no good point out. Yo, what is the deal? I'm getting tired. Rut rose. Yeah. Huh. That would be neat. Sorry guys, I like to practice really fast sometimes, just so I can get better at like my slow play. It makes that kind of stuff way easier. You been whiffing your pull shot lately. Any tips? Yeah, stay touching the ball. If you're always touching the ball, you cannot whiff. Not possible. Um, go slow. Okay, go slow at first. Pull, pull, pull. Up, boom. Hit. Done. Wait, what? 
Oh, you ordered an LED for your table after one month they told you it was canceled due to corona pandemic? I don't know about canceled, postponed maybe? I mean, you can make it a, a light, it's real easy. I made mine for like almost nothing. Like this stuff is so cheap to buy and I've realized now that I can do it better next time. Like I found some really good concepts to do it. Um, How am I shooting with the ball behind? Oh, because uh, I hit the ball like a Mack truck. That's out. Oh, from the toe? Uh, well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. That video will be coming out next week. How am I doing that? Here's the good part of it. Ooh. Or inversely. The hard one is this one. Oh, dang it. Miss execution. Ouch. Dang it. I just can't. I'm like tensing up trying to even think about this stupid part of it. I can't do it well. Oh, for the light? Yeah. Uh, if you're referring to my light, then yes, I do have a YouTube. I have an entire thing on it. I explained how I made it. It's super easy. But yeah, you basically draw the ball forward when it's back here. I'm a ninja. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, it can get dirty. How about that? Aerial tutorial? I have an aerial tutorial. I mean, I'll shoot a couple. I'm just gonna like shoot them. Or at least attempt to. Might be too tired to do it. That, or I'm gonna have to. Damn it. That, or I might have to get a different ball. Huh. Oh, I'm not scooping well. That's the problem. tables? Wait, what? I don't know what that means. I have bad 
intentions for that ball. Yeah, we get way too tired. <laughs> That's funny. Alright guys, I'm getting ready to kind of wind this down a little bit. So if you have questions, please let me know. Oh, I wasn't. So guys, one thing I really want to express. If you're going to shoot a pull shot, be touching the ball. Okay? You can't shoot it if you're not touching the ball. Uh, there's a little bit of an Iowa scene. You just have to find the right groove. Um, but there is a little bit of an Iowa scene. I think it's in Des Moines. I think. I can tell you there's like one good player in uh, Quad Cities. It's Quad Cities, right? Bentendorf area. There's one good player there. Turkey Dicky. And I like him a lot. You'll kick my butt in foos. Oh, okay, sure. Brett Renner. Stacey Fowler? Uh, I think she's in the Quad City, or not in Quad Cities, I think she's in Des Moines. And yeah, Stacey Fowler is a good player. something I like do no no I don't shoot that shot at all like ever literally never Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but not when it comes to that one. Well, yeah, then you would, yes, but you would have to do it from the console. From the console? That is the console. You would have to do it on the console, not like... Oh, I don't know. I don't know how that works for that. Yes. Yes. Fairly. Yes. Yeah. I just I just don't know enough about this system. No worries. Okay, where was I? Sorry, I had a phone call. Um, you picked up a Bonzini. That's awesome. I'm happy that you like them. Garlando table. Yeah, I would I would grab a Garlando table. I like them. Uh, oh, which Garlando table? I don't know. I don't know enough about. Them. I would get the ITSF one, whatever that is. Because they are different. I just don't know how to do it. Why is the pull kick not work? Better. Better. Chat here. Did I break it? Nope. 
I didn't break it. Hooray! Alright, I'm getting ready for being done here. I'm getting tired. I've, uh, man, my kids have been something. So this little bit of time where I can kind of come down here, hang out with you guys for a little bit, been pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Oh! Alright guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, boy, it's been super fun. Thank you guys for being here with me, hanging out. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, let's see here. We streamed for over an hour. That's perfect. Uh, any last questions before I sign off, guys? Anybody? Okay, well, uh, in that case, I will um, sign off for the evening. There's quite a bit of lag. I'm surprised in the difference between what I'm doing and what comes up. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll probably be trying to do this like every Thursday or so, I think. Uh, so feel free to come back Thursdays right around 8 o'clock. Uh, when this all corona's out, uh, I'm going to be holding practices here at my house and I will be streaming them as well. So. Uh, at least that's the game plan. So you guys have a good one. I'm glad I got rid of the duster and uh, happy foozing.